These ankle bracelets are certainly not easy to destroy, and the way John Goodman broke his was a first. I want to welcome in my colleague Tanya Rogers with more on this angle. Tanya. Well, definitely very difficult, and you know, the custody alternative unit, they're the ones who actually keep track of 187 people who are on house arrest. Now, when they're placed on house arrest, they're given this ankle bracelet. The ankle bracelet, some of them do try to break it apart. It was very hard for us to even break this apart. But in the end, when you do break it apart, it does send out an alert, and they are alerted that something is wrong within seconds. This is the device he tampered with here. And when he tampered with it, we had that alert in about 30 to 35 seconds. Sergeant Walter Lawrence and Deputy Manuel Castillo showing us how the ankle bracelet works for those on house arrest. The sergeants say a tracking device the size of a small box is placed inside the house. This is the device that sends the violation alerts out to us and we also can communicate with it via text message so it's a two-way track a two-way communication device the person on house arrest wears an ankle monitor the two devices work together to keep track of where the person is located or if the bracelet has been tampered with uh, what generally happens in these situations where they're going to tamper with it what they'll do is cut the band with a pair of scissors or a knife there's fiber optics that runs down the center of this device here so once that's cut the fiber optic separates and that uh, generates the alarm. The sheriff's office says this is what John Goodman did. What he actually did, which I say again is extremely rare, he actually destroyed this device by repetitively beating with some type of object. We've, we've tried, we, we believe it was a mirror that was in the bathroom because there was paint transfers on top of the, the device and on the side and he split it right down the side here and actually opened it up. The system sent an alert within seconds. I've been around this unit for 12 years. Deputy Castillo's been with me for about six. We've never seen, until last night, the inside of this device. It's, it's not tampered with in that manner. Now, these ankle bracelets are fitted to the different people who are placed on house arrest. What's very interesting is that they do have staff that actually go out to the homes and make sure to check them weekly to make sure they say at times, actually, some of them end up gaining weight and they have to actually readjust these. So it's very interesting. They have definitely a very strict monitoring system in place. And they said the signal, at least for this company with this, the signal goes to Tampa, comes back, and within seconds, deputies are being called out to check on the person. And this case certainly showed how well they work, too. Yeah, and they also told us, too, that like every week, 15 people are being placed on house arrest. Tanya Rogers with more on the ankle bracelet. Tanya, thank you very much.